Hello, welcome to Aditya Double and Triple T YouTube channel. Uh, today I am going to show you uh, 4B problem and this is a Dale motherboard it's a dedicate, with dedicated VJ. Uh, the part number is uh, Cedar Intel uh, 13269-1. It's a 3542 motherboard. Okay. The problem is 4B and unable to give display. First we connect the DC jack and try to switch on okay you can check the this is applied it's taking good ampere okay four one two three four it's taking good ampere but unable to view display okay today i am going to show you how to resolve this kind of problem okay first uh, we have to check in this motherboard uh, main voltages okay uh, first I have to tell uh, in this motherboard there is no BIOS problem and there is no any graphic card problem and there is no any processor problem uh, but some guy before tried to repair this one and I, uh, now uh, first uh, we check our main voltages you can see that three 3 volt is okay and 5 volt also okay okay we try to switch on fan is spinning and we can check ram supply 1.36 it's okay and pch voltage also okay 1.04 and graphic coil voltage also okay battery which is also okay and 1.7 voltage is also okay okay now all voltages are okay but unable to give display now uh, this motherboard diagram this is the 3542 the board uh, is a ram slot location number is dm1 okay i'm going to check ram connector voltages ram connector need some uh, some voltages to give display so first we check ram connector voltage okay there are so many voltages uh, first uh, you can see this is a pin number 203 and 204 vtt line it should be um, 0 0.67 voltage and pin number 30 DRAM reset it should be 1.36 voltage and pin number 126 and pin number 1 it should be half of the RAM voltage this is a reference it uh, and this is a ODT line this is a 116 and 120 okay first uh, we going to uh, check one by one voltage okay okay first we check uh, pin number 203 and 204 both are connected we check 204 you can see 0 0.67 it's okay and second one is uh, we can check uh, 116 and 120 ODT line. Um, one, two, okay. The 116 line also giving some voltage, 0 0.9, and 
120 okay 120 also giving voltage 0 0.9 okay, uh, after we can check pin number 30 DRAM reset line okay that one also okay 1.36 it's good voltage and last one we can check pin number 1 and pin number 126 actually this motherboard um, we can check uh, only one side voltage uh, we can check pin number 126 120 22 24 126 so okay 126 is uh, uh, 0 0.6 voltage uh, last we have to check uh, pin number one actually in this motherboard we cannot check pin number one directly so i take some uh, wire that one to that one is easy to check our voltage okay the pin number one reference line you can see there is a zero voltage actually uh, this both line uh, directly connect with the cpu first uh, we can check that path in where to where connected okay uh, this actually pin number one is unable to be voltage it should be 0 0.67 but now uh, voltage is zero voltage okay first we can backtrace our voltage uh, and this is a r3701 is the 1.35 voltage it's have some voltage divider first we can check uh, r3701 resistor have volt voltage have or not okay, okay you can see um, okay this is the r3701 resistor we can check voltage okay okay both side no voltages okay okay uh, you can see first uh, we can check that uh, resistor one side voltage have or not and other side voltage have or not okay uh, r3701 you can see okay so one side is uh, no voltages okay you can see that other side is have 1.36 voltage okay now we can check why that unable to give that voltage to pin number one okay first uh, we can check that pin impedance okay actually uh, first i have to tell something uh, when while i am checking uh, i found that resistor one side is giving very low impedance okay other side is okay so we can check impedance you can see the zero other side is 130 so uh, with this zero zero impedance never give that kind of voltage okay first we have to check why that impedance is very low first we have to check that okay we can check that uh, you can see the diagram this is the line okay this, this is the pin number one we reference this one we can check impedance okay this is the pin number one part you can see that one also giving beep sound that means uh, low impedance okay we check you can see the diagram mm. 
you can check where to connect that path okay uh, there's a three capacitor so one is dy not available so other one we can check uh, it's connected to two capacitor uh, c1204 and c1206 okay come we check that capacitor C1204 C1204 Okay This is the capacitor If you can see that uh, Capacitor line is short Okay Okay uh, To the confirmation we have to remove and check that Okay First. we can remove and uh, after we can check what is the impedance Now capacitors are I removed. Now we can check impedance. Okay. Now impedance is okay. That means that capacitors are directly short. Okay. We can replace uh, another capacitor. And we can check voltage. Okay. Okay. I take uh, another capacitor from another motherboard. We can replace that. Okay, now we check impedance. Okay, one side gain beep, other side is 326. Good impedance. Now we can check other side uh, pin number one impedance also. Okay, before that pin number one is giving uh, zero zero impedance. Now Oh, it should. Uh, it's uh, 326 impedance. Okay, now impedance is okay. Now we can check voltages. Okay, we connect the DC supply. Turn it on. So, it's taking ampere. Now we check number one voltage you can see 0 0.68 now p number one voltage is also okay okay now you can see the uh, ampere and we can check the display okay we can check the voltage uh, display now 
now I uh, connect the speaker also mm. okay display done thank you